Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends, in this very powerful video of algebraic challenging equations. Here we are going to solve one very intricating quartic equation today with three different methods. So let's get started without wasting time. Let me write here method number one. As you can see, x is not solution of this equation. So I can divide this equation by x square. So let us divide by x square. See what will happen. I will get x square minus 3x minus 8 plus 12 over x plus 16 over x square equal to 0. Now first and last term if I will put all together then you can see it is one reciprocal form of equation. So I will write 16 over x square in one bracket. Then I will consider minus 3x and 12 over x. And if I will take minus 3 common, what I will get? x minus 4 over x. Okay. And this term is only left without x term, without x variable. So you can see x square plus 16 over x square. And here it is x minus 4 over x. So substitution is obvious. So what I will give substitution, I will consider this as t. So let me write here, let x minus 4 over x equal to t. So x square plus 16 over x square. So I will take a square of this e equation. So let me write here, is squaring both sides. So I will get x square plus 4 square is 16 over x square minus 2ab. So xx will be over minus 8 will be there equal to t square. So conclusion is x square plus 16 over x square is t square plus 8. So here I will write t square plus 8. This value. Rest would be easier. Okay. So let us put. So t square plus 8 minus 3t minus 8 equal to 0. Now these two term I will cancel. So what is left? t square minus 3t. I will take t common. t minus 3 equal to 0. That means either t equal to 0 or t equal to 3. If t equal to 0 and what is t? t is x minus 4 over x. So I need to put over their value. So I will write in place of t x minus 4 over x equal to 0. Multiply with x both sides x square minus 4 equal to 0. x square is equal to 4. That means x is equal to plus minus 2. So from here we are having two solutions. And this equation was t equal to 0. Now we will solve t equal to 3. Let's put the value of t equal to 3. So x minus 4 over x equal to 3. Multiply with x. So I will write x square minus 4 equal to 3x. x square minus 3x minus 4 equal to 0. Now I will factorize this or you can use the quadratic formula also, Sridharachar formula. So we can write our factorization directly. x plus 1, x minus 4 equal to 0. You can check also minus 4x plus x, so minus 3x. 1 times minus 4, minus 4. So yes, it is right. X will come out negative 1 and 4. So our final solution for this quartic equation will be plus minus 2, negative 1 and 4. Method number 1 it was. Method number 2. Using factorization. I will write this minus 8x square as minus 4x square minus 4x square. I will split like this. This is how we can split this term. Rest as it is unchanged. Plus 16 equal to 0. Now see I will club the first term that means x power 4 and the fourth or third term you can say. This term and this term I will put in one basket or one bracket this term and this term I will put in second bracket 
and this term I will consider in the third. So let us consider. I will write x power 4 minus 4x square. Then I will write minus 3x cube plus 12x. Then I will write minus 4x square plus 16 equal to 0. Okay. Consider x square common. So x square in bracket it would be x square minus 4. Now from these two terms I will consider minus 3x common. So what would be left here? x square and once you will take minus 3x common then I will write here minus 4. And from last two terms I will consider minus 4 common. So x square minus 4. Now you can see by splitting our central or middle term we are having our factorization done. Now I will take x square minus 4 common. What is left now? x square minus 3x minus 4 equal to 0. Quickly I can consider x square is equal to 4 or x square minus 3x minus 4 equal to 0. Now we can apply quadratic formula. From first equation taking square root both sides I will be having my two solutions plus minus 2. Second equation I will apply quadratic formula minus b so 3 plus minus square root b square so 9 minus 4 ac so plus 16 over 2. 3 plus minus it is square 25 so I will write over 2. 5 it is square root 25 is 5. Now if I will consider plus sign then 8 over 2 so answer will be 4 minus sign then minus 2 over 2 so answer will be negative 1. This is how we will calculate or we will solve for the value of x. Method number 3 now and it is conventional method. I will find out using rational root theorem I will find out eligible factors of constant coefficient 16. So I can write plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 4 and so on. Now I will find out our base solution. So base solution will be if you will put suppose I am putting randomly I am putting I am putting x is equal to 2. So let me check 2 raised to you can put 1 by 1 1 plus 1 minus 1 and like this also. Suppose I am putting x equal to 2 in from this series. Okay. Now 2 power 4 is 16 minus 2 cube is 8 8 times 3 is 24 minus 2 square is 4, 4 times 8 is 32, plus 24, plus 16. Is this 0? So 16 plus 16, 32 plus 24, 56, 56 minus 56. So yes, it is 0. You can means put plus 1, minus 1 also. Now I will use synthetic division. So I will write our coefficients of the quadratic equation. So I can write 1 minus 3, minus 8, 12, 16. Put one line over there. Leading coefficient 1 as it is. Take the product of these two. So I will consider 2 times 1, 2. So negative 1. Again same thing. Minus 2, minus 10, minus 20, minus 8. Then negative 16, 0. These are the factors of cubic equation not factors it is coefficient of so i will write x cube minus x squares x square minus 10x minus 8 equal to 0 again i will do the same job so i can put again one base value so that value i will consider suppose plus 1 minus 1 any value you can put using rational root theorem i have find out all the possible factors of the constant coefficient 8 out of these solutions I started with x equal to 1. So it is not coming out 0. So next value I will consider x is equal to minus 1. Let us find minus 1 cube is minus 1, minus 1, plus 10, minus 8. So yes, this is true. Again, you are getting the base solution x equal to minus 1. Again, I will consider this cubic equation is the equation for which we will write all the coefficients. So 1 negative 1, negative 10 and negative 8. Put one line over there. Leading coefficient 1 as it is. 1 times minus 1, minus 1, minus 2. Minus 2 times minus 1, 2, minus 8. Minus 8 times minus 1, 
eight zero. So these are the coefficient of quadratic equation now. So x square minus two x minus eight equal to zero. So two solutions are confirmed two and negative one. Now two solutions will come from this quad quadratic equation. So let's solve this quadratic equation quickly. So you can say we can use quadratic formula also. And if you want to factorize, you can factorize this also. Let us use quadratic formula. X is equal to minus b plus minus a square root b square so four minus four ac so plus thirty two divided by two. Two plus minus a square root thirty six over two. Two plus minus six over two. Plus two means eight over two four. Minus six minus sign two minus six so minus four over two minus two. So complete set of solution is minus one two minus two four. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Take care of yourself.